In the previous example, we learned how to add a 3D model to our AR scene. And now we're going to learn how to animate that 3D model by rotating it around. So 3D models can come with their own animations uh, kind of embedded within their own files. We're just going to learn how to animate this ourselves by rotating it around a little bit, just like we did with the objects. So I'm going to go to example number five, model animated. And right now, this is simply loading this 3D model in space, not doing much of anything else. Um, and I've just pushed it out a bit to be further away from the camera. So uh, you can see here that the position has been set to minus 10 on the Z axis, so pushing it away from the camera. That's pretty much it. Um, we're going to apply the same technique that we did to the 3D objects, and we're actually going to write a, let's say, rotate model function here within render. So recall that render gets called once every frame, so about 60, and there's about 60 frames a second. So uh, it's going to change these values faster than the eye can tell any difference. So we're going to create this function here called rotate model, and we're going to try to add our uh, rotation functions in here. So the first thing we need to do is uh, I'm going to show you an alternate way of um, adding rotation information. So if you recall from, you know, so this model is getting saved here into this variable, variable model is gltf scene, and I've declared it outside of the scope of the initialize function so I can access it further here. Okay, so I can do model dot rotation. Let's say that we want to rotate it on Y, for example, right? Recall that I can do something similar to the objects rotation, right? I could do something like this. Let's say we want to rotate it uh, about 0 0.02 units. Remember that this is in radians, correct? So let's see what happens here. All right, first of all, I get an error that says cannot read property rotation of undefined. So what's going on here? Uh, cannot read property rotation of undefined. So it's saying that this model is undefined. We can confirm that by logging it here. Okay. It's going to say undefined. It's going to say, okay, so our model is undefined. So what's going on here is that 3JS is starting the scene and it's starting to render before our model has finished loading, okay? So we could, so we have two options. We could either trigger the rotation function after the model has loaded, okay? I could maybe write a variable that says, you know, uh, has loaded or something like that, and maybe this is false. And down here, I could then say has loaded is true because this is our onload callback, which gets, gets called after the model has finished loading. So I could change this variable to something like true. And down here I could say maybe like if has loaded is true or something like that. Yeah, actually just if loaded, um, then do something, then do the rotation. I could also, uh, as a shorthand, let me just remove this for a second. As a shorthand, I could also simply do you know, if the model is not undefined, right? So if it's not undefined, then we know that something has loaded. So if our model is not undefined, we can put this inside here. We know that the model has finished loading. So now let's try that again. All right, so our model is rotating pretty quickly. Maybe let's make it rotate a bit more slowly by doing 0.01. Okay, so that's our model, and we can see here that it is rotating. I can probably just unlog this. All right, so this is one way to do it, similar to how we had rotated the objects, but there's a handier way if we want to use degrees. So you might remember this from uh, your math class in school. So degrees are just another way to measure angles, right? So this, the, this angle is 130 degrees, this one's 90, a right angle. Um, and of course, there are 360 degrees in a circle. So in 3JS, you're going to see how we can actually pass in degrees. So you can pass in any number, of course, from 0 to 360. 
if you go over 360, it's just going to keep counting uh, as if it were, you know, 361 is just going to be one degree, 362 is just going to be two degrees. So no matter what number you use, it's going to, in the background, it's going to convert it into something between zero and 360. And so 3JS has a very handy little function here that lets us do that. No, actually, I'm just going to comment this. And so looks something like this. I can do three dot math math um, and then I can use this utility function called degrees to radians and pass in some information about the degrees and so let's just say that we started uh, got to declare a variable here that is going to be the default starting uh, angle so the default starting angle is just to be zero and let's say every frame I want to uh, move the object by, let's say, uh, 0.2 degrees, roughly. And so every frame, this rotate model function is going to get called. And every frame, this degree angle is going to change by 0.02. So I could probably log this here, just for you guys to see. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this utility function here to convert this degree unit into radians, which is ultimately what we need to pass into this model.rotation.y uh, parameter here. So let's try that out. And so instead, I'm going to get uh, degrees here, right? And that's going to keep going up. And so now we can see that the model is rotating uh, just like before, a little bit more slowly. So that's, that's kind of handy if you don't want to work with radians, uh, a lot more simple. And I've included the link to this utility function. You can see it here, degrees to radians. So it converts degrees to radians. And there's a couple other utility functions that you can look up here, which can uh, become handy. That's how you uh, rotate one of these models.